So I got more of the stuff I ordered. It's been only maybe three days or two, something like that, since I did the last one. And I got a few, like 10 or 11 more things in the mail. We're getting near the end of this stuff, but it's. You always have those things that come like farther off, but yeah. <laughs> So I'm just going to open these that I got. So I'm going to open some of the smaller ones first. So I ordered several pairs of sunglasses and I think I finally I got all of them. Oh, this one. I like this little cat eye thing. These are like a metal and they feel pretty sturdy. Sometimes you get them, they'll feel wobbly, but this is pretty sturdy. I mean, the little eye things, you can hear them rattle, but the other stuff's pretty sturdy. I like these. I think I paid $3 for those. And I mentioned before, I don't usually spend more than like $5 on a pair of sunglasses. I just, I don't see a point because I end up breaking them or losing them anyway. Okay. This is another one. I wasn't sure how these look on me. I've been wearing a lot of round sunglasses and these have like this weird little cutoff thing, but actually it's not too bad. I think anything that kind of points out looks good on my face. Um, these wouldn't be the best for like a super bright day. This is more like statement sunglasses, especially I have like really uh, sensitive eyes. Yep, that's all the sunglasses I got. I've had some heart-shaped sunglasses before, but some of them were either too small, like they were kids, or like, I don't know, something with the frames didn't look right, but these are actually more comfortable than the other ones I've had, and I like that they kind of do the cat-eye thing, so these are really cute. It'd be very good for like a fairy K or decora. Look. I'm gonna grab my scissors because I keep opening stuff in my teeth. <laughs> it's a bad habit. Okay. This is two items. I got. This is like some more faux leather stuff. <laughs> it definitely on the picture on line looks like it's like a thicker type of fabric like some of the other stuff I've gotten that's this material but this reminds me of like when you get a raincoat like it's a jacket Oh, arms are like weirdly long, which is not usually a problem I have with this stuff. It's usually the opposite. I feel like I'm in a candy wrapper. I wouldn't actually zip this all the way up. Well, first off, I can't because my boobs are not quite that big. But like this neck. 
but this is the type of thing I would just wear open anyway. Um, it's a little awkward how long the arms are, but I think this is advertised as a men's item, but like, I don't really give a fuck about that. That's probably why the arms are longer. Got, which is actually the thicker stuff, like the other items I bought. I don't know what's up with that one being so thin, but I got this skirt, which is a little on the smaller side. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit wider. I mean, I knew I would need to lose some weight to wear this, but I'm not like too sad because it'll fit later. <sighs> oh, my cats. Okay. I think is this oh okay. This is Sailor Moon figures. So not a clothing item, obviously, but I did get a few little random things like this, and they're on the little packages. I'm gonna add them to my little clear collection with their cute little. They kind of remind me like the little blue life, however you say them, figures or dolls. They kind of have that style. But yeah. Okay. I have to figure out which. Because like, I bought a couple like nightgown type items, so I gotta figure out which ones they are. They always come with these cheap ass weird thongs that I never wear. Just a simple little stretchy nightgown I got in black too. And they actually make these in pretty large sizes. I got usually with the Asian sizes, you gotta go like two or three sizes up. So in this, I got a 3X, but they had them up to like a 6X, which would fit like a 3X US. But yeah. I got this bomber jacket. I'm put this on the floor. It's got these little unicorns on it. Ah! My stuff fell on the floor. <laughs> really cute. It fits me. Uh, a little shedding on the side, but that's no big deal. This was like $18. And it fits my big ass. I wear like an 1820 right now. I'm kind of in between, depending on the brand. But yeah. It's really nice. It's a good lightweight coat, and the weather's been kind of back and forth. So this works pretty good for now. It's perfect for this weather. There's nothing on the back, it's just the cute little pastel jacket. I really like that. Very happy with that. Okay, uh, this is a corset. I have a corset like this. Almost exactly like this. I just kind of wore the F out of it, so I got another one. 
and I love these. And it's got the little straps too. I like these ones because I don't, they just seem to work better for me. This, I mean, I can wear regular corsets too, but these cheap ones, I should specify, the cheap ones that have like the really shitty plastic boning in it, which I'm not usually one to buy these types of corsets unless they have like the little straps on them. Because I find these don't bend up as bad and I get more wear out of them. And I only pay like 13 and change for that. I wouldn't pay more than like $15 for one of those. Because I get maybe like a couple years out of them. Okay. than it looked in the picture. The picture it actually looked super thin so I'm pretty surprised. Uh, this was like $23. 22 and change. So I have another rainbow sweater and I've been wearing the heck out of it but it's, uh, it's a little bit different. And I saw this one and I was like oh <laughs> so I can mix it up with my rainbow sweaters. That one's cute, easy to wear. I like one. I like any jacket. I can just kind of throw on and lounge around in. I think this is the last thing I have. Yep. And this is the other cheap ass course that I got. <laughs> Supposed to be like a steampunky thing. Now, I mentioned the cheap boning. This is actually, oh, it looks better in a picture. Like, I don't know, it just, I didn't pay that much for it. I paid 13 and change, so, you know, I didn't expect a whole lot, but it looks even cheaper in person than it did in the photo. I mean, I could make it work for something. I have a skirt I was going to do a steampunk outfit with, but I don't have any brown corsets because, I'll be honest, I don't really like the color brown that much. Only in certain circumstances. And that is all for now. I have a few more things I'm still waiting on for... That I got from the sale so I will post a video when I get more of this stuff and a part four because I buy too much stuff. <laughs>